We are the plug for producers, the Show Lab Producer Podcast. You dig? This show has been brought to you by SacredApparel.net. The homie Twink and the crew over there are always coming up with the latest fashions, the tees, the hoodies, and the hats. Right now, they got a store-wide sale going on, everything 20% off. This would be a great time to pick up a hoodie. Everything 40% off, regular price $40, now they $25 a hoodie. And the dope thing that I like about Sacred Apparel, they got tees for the big homes. So go check them out, sacredapparel.net, a clothing store for the ladies and gentlemen that choose to live sacred. You dig? Are you working on a project and you're looking for your next banger? Well, check out the team over at SoundHBeats.com. Looking for a variety of production? Well, the homie Ray and the crew over there can take care of all of your musical needs. They got exclusives, leases, and they got a clearance sale over there. Are your artists on a budget? Well, now they are offering bulk discount prices on their lease beats. So what you waiting on? Head on over to SoundHBeats.com and pick up your banger today. Christian music, all hearts. SoundHBeats.com. You are listening to the Show Lab Producer Podcast, the podcast that's strictly for producers. Five, four, three, two, one. This should be played at high volume. You ain't got the answers. Oh, yo, yo, what's good? Yo, yo, hey, yo, what's poppin'? This your boy, Swift. Young Joshua. This is Seth. This your man, K-Drama. This is the amazing SB. And you're listening to the Show Lab Producer Podcast. And you're listening to the Show Lab Producer Podcast. And you're listening to the Show Lab Producer Podcast. You are now listening to the Show Lab Producer Podcast. And you're listening to the Show Lab Producer Podcast. With my man, Marv. With my homie, Marv. With my homie, Marv. With my man, Marv from OB. I'm a mom from a beats, baby, yeah. You're listening to the Show Lab Producer Podcast, where we talk about nothing but producer stuff. You dig? Yo, 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 yo. Yo, what up? What up? This is your boy, Marv from Beats. You're listening to the Show Lab Producer Podcast, where we talk about nothing but producer stuff. Yeah, dang. <laughs> How y'all doing today, man? I'm good for this Tuesday afternoon, man. Just busy as ever, man. Uh, got a lot of stuff going on. Uh, man, beat tutorials. Oh, uh, man, beat videos, music, and family and life um uh, man jesus <laughs> got a lot of stuff popping up popping off over here man but it's good and i'm grateful man um again man you're listening to the show lab producer podcast i am your boy Marv from obese man i hope y'all guys hope you all you producers and producettes are enjoying your day man whether if you're on the job or if you're in the studio grinding out the beast man i hope your day is great today man we're talking about beat battling we're talking about the art of beat battling why it's necessary and important for our culture uh and i have the owners the founders of the stew beat showcase on the show today the stew beats showcase beat battles series i got the three owners on the show man and they're gonna come on man and they're gonna talk about how they got started you know what i'm saying uh why they felt that it was necessary why they felt that it was a need you know to start uh the beat battles in their city all right a lot of people have mixed feelings about beat battles some people like them some people don't um you know i think it's all about you know, building up confidence and, you know, building up community. And uh, if there's a prize to be won, uh, money is always good. I've had the pleasure to be in a beat battle and take home the W. You dig? The Rapzilla uh, beat battle back in Flavor Fest. Uh, I can't remember what year that was. It might have been 2012, 2013. But, uh, yeah, man, it was it was an experience, you know, something I've never did before. Uh, but I'm glad that I was able to, you know, come out on top, you dig. 
Uh, but that's what we're talking about today. We're talking about beat battling. Uh, before we go any further, you know, I got to start off with the scripture. And I think the scripture that I have uh, goes well with the interview that we got popping off today with the podcast. And it's coming from Proverbs chapter 27, verses 17. And it reads, You use still to sharpen still, and friends sharpen another. You use still to sharpen still, and one friend sharpens another. Simple scripture. Iron sharpen, iron sharpens iron. You know, I know we heard that saying, but that is actually uh, biblical. That is a proverb. Uh, Proverbs chapter 17, uh, chapter 27, verse 17, man. And that's true. You know what I'm saying? Our brothers, you know, we we build one another up, you know what I'm saying, through constructive criticism, you know what I'm saying, through, you know, um, you know, uh, critiquing, whatever it may be. It may be anything, you know what I'm saying, whatever talent that you have or what, you know, whatever situation it, you're in, you know what I'm saying, you can be, you can sharpen somebody up in their character, you know what I'm saying, how they act, you know what I'm saying, because you can be a dope b- producer and at the same time, be a jerk at the same time. But if you got that friend there that's always there to keep you in line, you know what I'm saying, and say, like, ho, ho, that ain't how you handle that, you know what I'm saying, that's iron sharpening, sharpening iron, and vice versa. you doing that for your friend, you know. Um, prime, it, you know, it, it fits, the, like I said, it fits the topic, you know what I'm saying. When you go to these beat battles, even though you may not win, you're still sharpening up your skills for next time. You might you might have said, well, man, I didn't come out on this joint, but next next the next one, boy, psh, well, it's gonna be on. But you got that motivation from the person that you went up against. You know, I remember, um, and I talk about it in the podcast. I went up against a producer at the Rapzilla beat battle. I knew I had I knew the caliber of this producer, so I I I, I knew I had to come with something heat because I knew he was gonna come with something heat. So what it did, it motivated me, it challenged me to go back to my hotel room and come up with something banging. And what and what Speck did for me, he just sharpened me up. You know what I'm saying? And I was able to beat that joker. <laughs> so man, that's the scripture for the day, man. Proverbs chapter seven twenty seven, verses seventeen, man. Iron sharpens iron, bro. For real. You know what I'm saying? Uh, You got to learn how to take criticism, you know what I'm saying? Good critiquing, you know what I'm saying? Some people be feeling a certain way uh, about, you know, you know, when when uh, when you when you did something that you think is really dope and then somebody shut it down, man. But hey, man, in order to get good, you're going to have to learn how to be able to take, you know, the constructive criticism. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have to be able to, you know, uh, you know, take it all in. Use that, what use it to your advantage, and then come out with something dope. All right, Proverbs chapter twenty-seven, verses seventeen. Again, you're listening to the Show Lab Producer Podcast, uh, where we talk about nothing but producer stuff. Man, we don't talk about nothing else but producer stuff right here on this podcast. This podcast has been brought to you by SacredApparel.net sacredapparel.net go check out Twink and them uh, yeah, I say it every week I ain't even got to say it this week y'all know what time it is if you have not visited sacredapparel.net you it's your loss that's all I'm gonna say check them out holler at my boy Twink tell him all I've sent you uh, he gonna give you a discount alright in a few minutes we're gonna have the founding members of the Stew Beats Showcase on the podcast. And yeah, we're going to get it in. You're listening to the Show Lab Producer Podcast. The Show Lab Producer Podcast. The podcast that's strictly for producers.
you looking for those heavy trap bangers, then you definitely need to holler at Rock House Music, specialized and known for those bending 808s. You may have heard his recent work on K-Drama's The 8 Out. So if that's the sound you're going for, holler at my man Anthony over at Rock House Music. You can check out his beats on SoundCloud at www.soundcloud.com slash IamRockHouse. Again, that's www.soundcloud.com slash IamRockHouse. Rock House Music, home of the bending 808s. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You're listening to the Show Lab Producer Podcast, where we talk about nothing but producer stuff. You dig? This show has been brought to you by SacredApparel.net. The homie Twink and the crew over there are always coming up with the latest fashions, the tees, the hoodies, and the hats. Right now, they got a store-wide sale going on, everything 20% off. This would be a great time to pick up a hoodie. Everything 40% off. Regular price $40, now they $25 a hoodie. And the dope thing that I like about Sacred Apparel, they got tees for the big home. So go check them out, sacredapparel.net, a clothing store for the ladies and gentlemen that choose to live sacred. You dig? We are the plug for producers, the Show Lab Producer Podcast. You dig? Yes, sir. You're listening to the Show Lab Producer Podcast where we talk about nothing but producers producer stuff <laughs> you dig i am your boy more for more beats uh this week man we're talking about beat battles uh we see it going on all the time uh you got you got the uh i stand to be showcase uh you had the rock battle b case of uh, uh, uh beat battles the rock battles uh and then you got the remy uh producer beat battle man it is it's it's a part of our culture it's a part of what we do as producers uh a lot of producers have uh went on to you know get major placements by uh being recognized and known in these beat battles and i am honored to have the owners of the stew beats showcase online I would like to welcome my guys, Brian, D, and Mark, to the show. What's up, fellas? What's going on? What's going on? I'm well, man. How you guys doing, bro? We good, man. We good. Thanks for having us. No doubt, man. Uh, so I we I guess we're gonna make this we're gonna make this three this 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 three this three on three uh, interview <laughs> work. You dig? Uh, first of all, man, I will. Appreciate, I appreciate you guys coming on the show. Uh, I know y'all got a lot going on just with the whole uh, beat battle and scene, man. Uh, what you guys do, uh, it is, I mean, it's a big deal to 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 us as producers. Um, you know, for I, I have did beat battles myself, uh, and I guess I didn't really give it, you know, think nothing of it. But as time went on, I see that is a major thing. So. First and foremost, I want to pre- I appreciate you guys what y'all do for the culture, for real. Thank you, no yeah. doubt, no doubt, man. So before we get into this interview, uh, let me just get all three of you guys just one by one introduce yourselves, tell the people who you are, what you're doing, all that good stuff. My name is Mark Marin. Uh, you know, Boston raised. Uh, I'm an MC and producer. Okay. Um, but I'm also a curator of, um, you know, a lot of events out in, in the city of Boston, the New England area. Mm. Um, yeah, that's the basic gist of it. Okay. Uh, um, I, I guess I'm next up. My name is D. Luke, aka Do It All Luke, uh, co creator of the school. Um, I'm also a producer. I do production on the side. I used to be a film MC. I'm just an overall creative person, man. I represent St. True, but definitely represent how the studio showcase as well. Okay. All right. And then last but not least, I'm Brian, um, a.k.a. A.V., another co-founder of the Stupid Showcase, one half of Stay True. Um, I'm a producer when I want to be sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I mostly do uh, photography, video, anything media related. Okay, no doubt, man. Um, how did you guys connect? How did y'all you know, establish this friendship that you guys have? Well, Mark, you might want to... Uh, 
I, I, so me and AB uh, Brian, um, mm-hmm. we met <clears throat> way in the past when we started off uh, our own uh, brand called Stay True. And we were kind of rocking, doing our creative thing. We also did our own events in Boston. And at the same time, we do with Mark Marin, who just so happens to be on the line with us today. Uh, He's doing his thing in the city, doing his events in the city, also in the city and a, and a producer in the city. And somehow, some way, we crossed fast. I think Mike can probably clear it up a little bit more on how we crossed fast. But uh, me and Lady definitely met via Okay. Mike, okay. can you elaborate? I mean, yeah. I mean, I mean, basically, yeah. Just we crossed paths, you know, um, doing doing you know similar types of types of events. I know I met Luke. You know, first as a performer, I booked him as a performer, and you know, through that, I met Brian as well. And then, you know, on, on then on the flip side, I performed at one of their showcases. And you know, and then it, you know, Boston's like a small city, so you know, we just connected as being you know creators, mm-hmm. and we just kind of you know connected and. Uh, me and Luke, uh, you know, had a, had a further discussion in regards to creating a platform for producers, you know, and we kind of was uh, going back and forth on the idea, and, you know, we was born. How did you guys start the Stu, the Stu Beak Showcase? Uh, who wants to take that? That's how I'm thinking about it right and now. How, how did we start it? Yeah, start. yeah, how did yeah, it, how, how did, did it, I mean, what was the what was the what was the whole? I mean, how did it come about? Were you guys at a beat battle, or were y'all kind of just sitting around and it was like, man, uh, man, we need to do something? Or how did it all? How did it come into fruition? Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, it, it, it definitely it definitely started with with me just knowing that like that we had to connect in some form of fashion. You know what I mean? Like. Mm-hmm. I, I, I saw, you know, we were both passionate about, you know, our respective platforms and and just the art. And I just knew that, uh, like, my company, Authentic Lifestyle and Stay True, mm-hmm. needed to connect in some form of fashion. And I know initially we were thinking of doing something, you know, just like something visual, you know, like a visual production of some sort. Right. But, you know, then I came back to the table to loops like, yo, listen, man, there's no platform for producers like that out here. And there's so many dope producers. Mm-hmm, yeah. That's probably what we need to focus on. You mm-hmm. know? And, um, and we all agreed, you know, being that we all, that's all part of our background. You know, we love, we love making beats. You know what I'm saying? Even if it's, you know, even if it's just for us to listen to, you know what I mean? Right, we're right. We're going to do it. We always do it. So we had that passion for it. So, you know, I was I was kind of at loose about, yo, we need to connect. <laughs> Let's figure out what exactly it is. And, you know, I, I, you know, and I came to the, to the conclusion of, you know, like, yeah, we definitely need to create a platform for producers. And then that just kind of sparked the brain for all of us. And we all just started cooking up different ideas of what we wanted to call it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, the rest of this. What we wanted to do and everything, man. So, yeah, it was, it was a beautiful thing, you know, how it just happened organically. Right. And um, once we put it out there, the producer came, man. Right. We had that. And man, you know, and I, and I guess that's my that's a segue into my next question. You know, how, when y'all first said when y'all said Joe was going to uh, initially start it, you know how? I mean, how, how was the response? Because I'm, you know, I'm, you know, I will say this, man, that uh, even me, I've tried to do, I've tried to do like an online beat battle, and uh, you know, I know a couple of other cats that tried to do some beat battles, man, and it just didn't, it didn't pop off. So I would be safe to say. You have it has to be, uh, it has to be a, a, a carved out lane for because everybody can't do it. You know what I'm saying? Even though I'm into producing, you know, what I'm saying I have a producer website. You know what I'm saying? For some reason, I just couldn't get that mug off the ground. You know what I'm saying? So I guess and you know and it frustrated me because I'm like, man, like. Let's do this. Let's do this B battle. You know what I'm saying? And you know, I think about people like uh, like uh, Rock Rock Wilder. He had the Rock battles. You know what I'm saying? That was very successful. Um, you got you got dynamic producers. You got yourselves. But 
just as many, just as, uh, just as there's uh, many cats that have pulled it off. There's so many dudes that can't pull it off. So, you know, what was the first event like? You know, what I'm saying, was it a, was it beyond what y'all guys expected, or was it a small, was it small, or what was it? How was it? Um, uh, I would say the first event we did. Mm-hmm. We weren't necessarily expecting like a large crowd. Yeah. Um, we just wanted we wanted the beat to be there because you know as long as the producers had something or some place to go, and as long as we did our part, the word was gonna get out because there was zero platform out here for producers. And there's so many talented cats out here. And um, normally the, the lights kind of shine on artists out here, so we like, you know what? Let's just try to take the spotlight and move it over here and see steps underneath it. Right. First, the first show. Like, what do we have? Like, what? Four producers? Or six producers on the channel, maybe? Some number around there. And then, yeah, yeah, I think it was like four or five. It was like six. Uh, yeah, so with that small number, it simply became a document because there's never been one done in Boston before. Other people just came out right. just for the hell of it to see what it was. And honestly, the people that didn't come out yeah. heard about it later on, at, like, thereafter. And right. then from there, it started to grow. Um, right. So it, it definitely took some time, but you could definitely tell we were still in a void at the same time and very much in the beginning. Wow, man, that's what's up, man. And like I say, bro, um, you know, it's, you know, you got to definitely, you got to be, I guess you got to be carved out to do it, man. And um, I don't know, I guess, I guess, every, I, I guess all of the cylinder, cylinders have to be hidden at the same time uh, for it to really pop off, man. Uh, I've, like, I've been in, I've been in a B battle myself and, uh, you know, I was, I was blessed enough to win it, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, but, but you know, but I always wanted to know, you know, what I'm saying, and something that I always wanted to do, how to really structure and put it together. Uh, so I, I, hey man, I, I think, I think it's a dope thing what you guys are definitely doing, definitely doing. Um, why? I guess my next question is, uh, why is be battling important to the culture? You know, because like we just said, you know, I mean, you know, the artist gets the glory. You know, like yeah. when you when you think when you think about you know how music is consumed, you know, especially on the radio, you know, people are paying attention to the music first. Yes, the that's beat. right. Yep. You know, what I mean, it's about the, the beat after the music, then, then you get to the melody, and then you get to the lyric. But it's about the beat. Mm-hmm. But the artist will get the credit. You know, like the right. artists get all the credit. So that's why it was essential to, for us to create a platform where the producers get to shine, you know. And, you know, you, you know, and of course we use the, the, the word or term producer, but also, you know, the beat maker. You know, just, yeah. to, just to, to, you know, that simple science of, of, you know, just making beats. You know, there's a whole culture that, mm. you know, beat makers that, that don't have access Artists, right. you know, or, yeah. you know, so so they're they're in their rooms cooking up these beats, and, and, and they're not getting heard. So this is a way for them to get heard, you know. And, and you create a competitive platform for it, you know. It's almost just like how like battle rap is, you know, like right. how you have to be on its own world and its own thing. And, and it's the same thing for beat makers and producers, you know. So right, right. It, it, it was it was like a, it was a no brainer, you know what I mean? It's like, and, and it was just about being consistent, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I, I hear you talk about how hard it, you know, it was with you know your experience. Yeah. At the same time, I mean, for us, it wasn't too hard because we happen to be blessed with a hot set of talent in Boston. Mm. And, there's so many dope producers in our area right. that are really getting placements and things of that nature on their own. Right. But, you know, there's, there's, there's so many producers in the area that, you know, our audience started with just producers, you know, with just mm-hmm. beat makers and producers in the building, which grew to people who are curious to want to know what's going on. So, yeah, man, it's, 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 it's definitely an essential thing for that world because there's no other real outlet for that unless you're trying to get a place right but every speed out here trying to get a place they just they love the art of it you know it's like DJ you know, you know right. anything else just the love for the art wow can I, can I piggyback that for a second yeah go ahead man yeah. and 
how I feel as though, you know, a lot of times there's producers, like there's a producer right now in their room or in their studio, and they just by themselves banging on the pads or playing the keys, and ain't nobody else hearing their music. Right. Like, they don't really play place unless it's, you know, around their friends that may be all yes now. Like, there's nothing better but to feel like, let me take this music, let me bring it over to the suit, and let me play it for a crowd of people I don't know and see exactly how it vibes. And, um... Stuff like that actually helps with confidence. It actually right. helps you, like, the feedback helps you go back and deconstruct some things. And I, I actually used to see the numerous times just within battles alone. A producer that might think, you know, he got hot stuff against another producer that might think he got hot stuff. And one of them might get battled out. And I heard one producer say, still shop and still. Yeah. You know, and yeah. you need that to make you even a better producer, you know, on the right. next time. And, um, right. So it's very important for the culture because a lot of these guys are just not being heard, not getting any feedback. And possibly making something that's mimicking somebody else not really defining their own style and that's really hurt at the style because you can't come with the same stuff and expect to win you know what I mean right so, yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> it's, no, it's very important very important but um yeah, yeah man to kind of piggyback off that I would say definitely for the producers that are not good at networking this gives them a chance to get out mm. and really talk to people and have people come and talk to them because uh, even at our beat battle, there's been some people that I've talked to directly. They're scary. Right. Like, plain and simple, they're scary. But as soon as they came to the stew, you know, they 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 played their beats at one of the segments of our um, event we called Open Kitchen. Mm-hmm. And somebody heard them. Tons of people walking up to them, talking to them. Right. They're understanding like, oh, okay, maybe I need to get out more. Maybe right. people actually need to hear me instead of me sitting in in my room, my little room with my MPC or, or Reason or whatever they got, right. thinking somebody's going to hear me. It, right. it don't work like that. Right. Network. Mm-hmm. Any business is your best source. Right. So and man, that's you why know, I think beat battles are important. And, man, you know, it's, it's definitely... It's definitely uh, a way to build a camaraderie. It's almost like a saint, you know, you come together like in the sanctuary, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but I, I went to the, um, uh, I went, I went out to B camp Dallas on the behalf of machine masters, uh, this past May. And man, and, and what they did, they kind of had like an open beach for producers and stuff, man. And, and it was just dudes just sitting around vibing. And just like you say, the nerdiest, scariest dude, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, he, he plays beats, but then he hear everybody saying, ooh. You know what I'm saying? That is that that is definitely a boost of co- uh, confidence, man. So uh, I definitely feel that, uh, feel that aspect of it. Um, mm-hmm. Have any producers uh, that was a part of you, part of you, you guys' event, went on to get major placements? Maybe they had a had some some A and R's at y'all joints, and went on and went on to produce some big things. I would I would say, I would say um, yeah, yeah. Um, a couple. Um, this dude, um, Latrell James. Yep. I'm trying to think of what he got a couple of uh, real placements. Uh, I know he did something. But, Kid Cuddy. Mm-hmm. Well, Archetype Ar- 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 definitely. The Archetype got a couple of placements. Mm-hmm. You know, working with dudes like Rusty Jukes and uh, all types of people. Um, well, yeah, there's, there's, a, there's a couple. I can't. I know the show got a lot of them. So I just can't think of them at the moment. But right, he got. I think he can do our, um, that, that one night that we had that one event. Man, he blew up from that. From that one back right there, he had a couple of placements out the gate. Wow. So, yeah, a while ago, man. But um, it's a great platform, dude. Yeah, no doubt, man. Great platform. Uh, do you guys? What is the craziest? Do you guys remember like the cra- a crazy moment at one of the beat battles? Something that you that happened that you guys was not expecting? Something maybe one of the producers did that was just like mad crazy? Um, I I can't think of a specific time, uh-huh. but I I can't say at least. Once every battle, somebody surprises us that we don't expect to come with some heat. Because really? we actually do uh, submissions online. Uh-huh. Sometimes you listen to the submissions and it's like, okay, this is all right. But when they actually come to the stew, they come with some stuff that blow you away. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if these two could think of a specific time. But uh, I, mean, <laughs> I mean, yeah, you, 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 would, you would have to definitely... 
you know, come to us too and, and see, you know, exactly how we how we do things. Because, mm-hmm. you know, we present the producers with, with different challenges and different themes. So, I mean, yeah, I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm just blown away at each and every showcase. I mean, the crazy thing that happens is, yeah, when, when somebody, you know, gets presented with a challenge, you know, we might, you know, we might tell you, you know, Hey, you know what I'm saying? We 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 doing, um, you know, we, we we're honoring Bad Boy. You know what I'm saying? We right. Don't have to remake the Bad Boy song. So, you know, it's fucking crazy like that. And when somebody steps up to the challenge and just nails it, you know what I mean? Like, you know, that's what we live for. That's what we do it for. You know, because that that creative uh, element to it, and they're doing it on the spot. Right. But most of us, we're giving cats you know, 15 to 25 minutes at best to cook up something on the spot. And Ooh, they didn't even do on that for anything. <laughs> so it's always a show. It's always, I'm always blown away. You know, right. Like, yo, like, you know, that, that, that ugly thing. Like, ah, right. what's yeah. going on? Man. <laughs> hey, hey, can I? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, bro. Oh, no, I was just saying, um, another thing that happens from time to time is, um, as Brian was saying, is we get online submissions all the time. So you might, we, uh, I don't, I think the submission is what, uh, is it three submissions, Dee? It's three submissions, Yeah, it's just right? about three. Yeah. Yeah. It's about three. So if you just send the three, and we'll listen to them, and based off of the three, you'll be like, yeah, this kid is bonkers with it. And he'll come to the suit and get chewed up. Like, chewed <laughs> up by someone else that we did not expect. Wow. Because we have like three rounds and sometimes you that first round to be a good round for you, but uh-huh. that second and third round to really turn things around and we see people get chewed up and he's like, yo, uh, you might want to come back next time with some more heat because you just can't really predict the battle. Like you can sit there and look at somebody and say, yo, you, you might take it. About the end of the night, someone that you completely just thought as the underdog ends up taking it. And that's, it's always been like that, I think. You can't really put your, put your eggs in one basket when it comes to one producer. So we're always going together. It's uh, yo, you just gotta be there, man. We gotta invite you out there one day just to come out there and check it out, my dude. Man, I would love, I would love to come out and and, and be a part of that atmosphere, man. Uh, I, I, I was just about to ask you guys. Yeah, man. Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, nah, no. Nah, I mean, I was just piggybacking that. Like, yeah, man, we'd love to have you, man. And you know, and just let your listeners know, you know, that the next one is Sunday, October 9th. You know, mm-hmm. you know, no matter where y'all from. Columbus Day weekend, so uh-huh. on the weekend, uh-huh. come to Boston, you know, uh-huh. man, Sunday, October 9th. Yeah. You know, it'll be love, man. We'll show you a good time, and you'll, you'll see some crazy producers, man. Boston got heat, and we got people that come rock with us from other states. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. And, so I, and, and, definitely and I... A good look. And that was going to be my next question. Uh, do you, are you guys looking to bring the Stu B, uh, B showcase on the road to different cities and stuff, or what's your plans? Definitely in the plans, man. We coming to a city near you, you know. So, <laughs> hey, bro, let me tell you, let me let me tell you, bro. Texas, I was telling I was telling AG, uh, the owner, Machine Masters. You know, we kind of just been. You know, just figuring out dem- different demographics of producers. And let me tell you something, bro. Texas, Texas got a, got they got a nice amount of producers out here, bro. So uh, that de- de- that definitely would work in this area. And and and, and reason I say that is because they do battles, they do beat battles. You got like the uh, uh, you got um, oh man, the definition DJs. They do like a they do like a, a beat battle. Uh, they they normally do them on a re- on a on a regular basis, but that that I mean, what you guys do the stupid uh, showcase would definitely work out here if y'all was to ever do it. You know that that would so, definitely what, work what for real. Talking about? Huh? Where in Texas would you suggest? Where in uh, Texas do you suggest? You got the yeah. Dallas area. Well, you, well, I'm gonna tell you, man. You got you got gang of producers in Houston. You got you got um you mm-hmm. got gang of producers in Dallas. Uh, and then you got a nice amount of producers in the area. That, I'm in the Austin area. You know what I'm saying? So uh, okay. you can, man, y'all, y'all definitely would. I mean, it, it would be dope for for y'all to do it down here. And a good time, and a good time to do it would be like around the south by southwest time. So because all 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 the indie producers are in the uh, are in town for that week. You know what I'm saying? 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm, okay. Yeah. yeah. Something to All something right. to think about, man. Well, we oh, no, we've been thinking that. Yeah. <laughs> we've been thinking. We're gonna make the moves though. We just didn't know how uh we're in Texas and Texas is mighty huge, but we were yeah. definitely planning on making some moves. Yeah, so. man. Dallas is Dallas is they reigning in producers. You got S one, you got sick with it, you got Malik's, uh you got uh uh you got Carnival Beats, you know. You got man, you got a lot. You got a lot of you know established producers out here, man. Uh, so definitely, a, definitely a good market to be a part of, man. Um, what, what's the what's the plans for, for for Stu Beats? What's the future? What does the future hold for you guys? Uh, no, no. All right, um, no, I, <laughs> Uh, so basically, what we're, what we're focusing on right now is we're trying to finish up our finale that's happening December fourth out here. We've been giving away um thousand uh, dollars cash prize, mm. um nice little title that we got, real real, real dope title. I, I don't know, I don't think words will actually do it justice. You just got to see it. Uh, and a bunch of other prizes and such. And once we finish with the finale, we're gonna focus on some other things. Um, that we can't really disclose as of right now because the right. beat battle has done it. But we just just know like. It, it'll be good for all of us. And by all of us, I mean all producers, all beat makers, and the people that love the school. We're focusing on something a little bit more uh, left field than where people think beat battles are supposed to go. Mm. Um, so we, we, yo, we got some really, really dope things, man. And just know uh, for all the listeners out there, we always keep the producers in mind. Like, that's our number one priority to make sure that we look out for beat makers that are like us um, and put them on a dope platform and make sure that we can we can provide something from them, like a, a dope experience or a beat battle they've never experienced before. So just pay attention to 2017, man. That's, that's all I can say. Wow. Uh, yeah, that's all I can say. I can't give away too much, but just know it, it, it's dope. There's nothing but dope coming to you right now. We'll definitely keep you in the loop. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Give, give a brother the 411, <laughs> you dig? <laughs> no, we, we definitely don't know. If there was any piece of advice that you guys would give, you know, producers that would, you know, that's kind of hesitant about even uh, being a part of B Battles, you know, probably don't even have the courage, man. I mean, what would you guys tell them? I think two pieces I would say. Go ahead, go ahead. No, no, do that. I was just going to say one producers should do their homework. So if you're going to a I stand, if you're going to a stool, do your homework on that beat battle because you want to find out what the format is how it's run right second i think i would say no risk no reward so if you don't if you don't jump you don't know what's going to come out of it right you can't be scared you just got to step in act act now act right now <laughs> wow yeah, and I, I would piggyback that and i would say um any composer or any producer you're an artist uh regardless and i would say don't afraid to be be naked and by naked i mean to bear it all and kind of be judged on it because um end of the day you can either end up with applause and uh might win the beat battle with a w or you might actually might learn some lessons from it and honestly a lesson is a w nonetheless it's like you can still go back home and say you know what i need to work on this so i heard this there mm-hmm. but you won't necessarily get any of that if you're just sitting with them on your on the phone and not playing it for anybody like it, it takes a lot to do it but once you get past that naked stage and just put it out there yeah. you'll probably feel more like the community more in tune with the community than anything and you probably won't be able to stop probably like getting your first tattoo and you'll just keep going and keep going wow. you know what I mean so just don't be afraid of that first step don't be afraid to be naked just go out there and do it mm. see and so, I, I would chime in I would chime in just by by straight up recommending because mm-hmm. that's what separates us from all beat battles is because we're, we're truly a developmental platform. You know, mm-hmm. is, you know, our focus isn't on, like, you know, you just coming and standing up playing your beats and hope, hope, hoping a judge says, ooh, you're good enough to get a placement. Right. Nah, we're about putting, putting you through the ringer to test your skill. And, and when you sharpen your skill, you're prepared for every every type of situation. You know, you're then you're able to whip up a beat if you got to do a session with an artist. And you know, you're in town that day and it got to happen that day. And you don't got nothing on that. Right. You're prepared, you know, for those types of situations. And, and that's what the school is all about. So you really be coming to get 
you know, real feedback on your skill level. How do you sharpen your skill? Mm-hmm. And that's what we don't want people to forget about, you know, you know, in regards to the culture of beat making. Like, it's a skill, you know, and nowadays there's technology that makes it a little bit easier for cats to make a beat that sounds like whatever they're hearing on the radio or whatever mm-hmm. is the top. But it's like, you know, show your skill level. How do you whip it up? Right. You know, show us how you whip it up. You whip it up right now on the spot. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and that's what separates, you know, the boys from the men. Yeah. That's an experience that, you know, every producer, if you really want to be a producer and not just a beat maker, this is this is that developmental phase you want to go through, not just going to, to nod your head on stage and get judged. Right. Yeah. So it, it, it's a dope experience, man. So I recommend producers to go to the two showcase.com. And don't be don't be afraid to come up to Boston, but we will be in an area near you, you know, sometime next year. You know, we'll be making some of those types of moves. So, yeah, that's what's up, man. Man, uh, how can people get in? How, how can people get in contact with you guys? I mean, they could either visit the website, um, the Stew Showcase dot com. I mean, all our contact information and social media. And, uh, links are all over the site. I mean, whatever they feel comfortable hitting us up, we'll respond to them. So. No doubt, man. Well, man, I appreciate y'all coming on the show, bro. Oh, man. 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 No doubt. Yeah, man. And, and, and again, bro, I um, definitely... Definitely appreciate you guys, what y'all do, bro. What you guys do, man, it definitely uh, make... Uh, producers step 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 their game up, you know. Um, and 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 at the end of the day, iron sharpen iron. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, mm-hmm. and and, and, at the, and that's what that's what the beat battles are all about. You know, I know some people. You know, some cats be like, man, I don't like to do the battles and stuff. And and you know what? And and I'm good with it either way. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but I do like the fact that. Uh, it's a way of sharpening up your skills, you know what I'm saying? Because I, because let me tell you, dog, real quick, when I was in the when I was in this B battle, man, I ended up having to go to the third round, and the dude that I was going up against, this dude was so cold that I had to go back to my hotel room to cook up another joint. You know what I'm saying? Because I knew whatever, <laughs> I knew whatever. <laughs> I ain't lying, dog. I ain't lying. Dude, name, a producer yeah. named Spec. I knew spec because I knew I was if if I was gonna have to go head to head with this dude, I knew I was gonna have to come up with some something crazy and I and I and what I had in the stairs was just not gonna hold water, bro. So that dude made me step my game up, and you know, and I was able to take home the fifteen hundred. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but uh, you know, it was it was definitely you know uh, one of them step your games up kind of situations. So uh, that is I, at the end of the day, that's definitely a plus. You know what I'm saying? For producers, man, just to be able to, you know, step out and, you know, go beyond, you know, uh, you know, think outside the box. You know what I'm saying? So appreciate you guys what y'all do for 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 the hip hop producer culture, bro, for real. Thank you, Tom. Hey, appreciate what you do, man. Hey, this, is a, this is a dope platform. You know what I'm as well, so. Hey, bro, I appreciate that, man. It's it's been constantly growing, and bro, I just keep trying to, you know, just trying to feed the producers, bro. Um, so, um, and it's interviews like this uh, that the, that the listeners would appreciate. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, glad to have you guys on the show, bro. Uh, no no, no. no doubt. Come out the Boston, man. man, I'm gonna have to make that trip, bro. Uh, I, y'all get cold, so I'm gonna have to make sure. I, uh, whenever y'all have, it, <laughs> <laughs> I come bundled. Yeah, I have my airport. We got. It. Say that again. So they got jackets and everything at the airport, man. We'll make sure I, I put you up in a heated whip or something, man. We'll be good. <laughs> no doubt, Come man. with that chinchilla yeah. style on them. Chinchilla yeah. and timbaland boots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. Gotta have the things ready. Yeah, man. And you guys been listening to the Show Lab Producer Podcast where we talk about nothing but producer stuff, you dig? We are the plug for producers. The Show Lab Producer Podcast. Podcast.